Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're outside of Newton, Georgia, and we're out here to do some pig hunting. If you guys have been following me on social media, you'll know that I've been spinning up, getting ready to come out here and do this hunt. We're finally down here doing it. And I have some folks here with me that are helping to make it all happen. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce Joe. Joe is with Hero Hunt. And Joe, can you tell us just a little bit about your organization? Yep, Hero Hunt was founded in 2012, and uh, we basically service uh, military, uh, injured, line of duty, injured police and fire, and battlefield injured military members. Uh, from all branches. Uh, I'm a police officer in Nashville and we were looking for an organization, a way to give back and uh, being with my background in law enforcement and then uh, being a prior veteran and a lot of our friends being veterans, we decided to make that the concept and the basis of our whole company to service military police and fire. That's very cool. And also we have uh, Squill Team 6 guys here. Uh, this is Ethan from Squill Team 6. Right. And these guys are making this all happen uh, from a logistical standpoint. Him and his crew are setting up the pig hunts, getting us out into the field, making sure that we have safe hunts getting everything pretty much all squared away. We also have Alex over here from Optics Planet, and Optics Planet is supplying some of the, the really awesome stuff that we're gonna be playing with uh, today and tonight, and the, uh, the hunts that we're doing, uh, including Armasite Night Vision, Armasite Thermal Optics, and all sorts of cool stuff like that. And then we have Jose, who's our, our hero, who will be joining us on the hunts out here in the, in the daytime and the nighttime for the next couple of days. And so guys, uh, you know, first of all, we did some hunting last night, and. I had a great time. We also did some hunting today. We're just getting ready to go out again this evening. The sun's just start, starting to go down outside, so we're just getting ready to go out one more time. But, uh, you know, I've never pig hunted before, and it, it was really quite the experience. I got him. I see, see some way off in the distance.
we're we're getting I mean perfect setup for them. Like, something spooked them and it just yeah I saw three or four more run off way off in the distance. There was another there was another group. Yeah. Do you see them? No, I can't see anything. <laughs> I know <laughs> it is kind of hard to see them. Yeah, my my Where'd sight was that? fogged up like crazy. Where'd that one come from? This right here That's one we just shot. Group, isn't it? They're all grouped up right here. Yeah. Oh no, no. Look at that another one. Yeah. It was like three of them. Like three of them in this, this little area we shot. Not too shot. Oh, look at the stripes on yeah. that spot. That's light. There should light. be one more. He's, he's going to get oh, okay. it in. I'm standing in a crater dug out by the pigs in the middle of the peanut field. You can see all this damage that they've done. All this turned over dirt, these holes, these ridges, all done by the pigs tearing up the peanut plants, trying to eat them. They can do a lot of damage very quickly, which is why they're being hunted. Can you tell us a little bit about what these pigs are and why folks are hunting the pigs? Because, you know, why are they being hunted out here? Well, <clears throat> they're a huge pest in our area. Um, they're actually the number one pest uh, for farmers, um, above weeds, above insects, everything. Um, they are destroying crops, peanuts, corn, wheat. Uh, it's just a constant battle. Um, even in the off seasons when they're not destroying the crops, they're tearing up the ground and causing erosion issues. Um, there's even a few counties in the area that have had groundwater contamination issues from overpopulations of hogs. And it's just a uphill battle. Yeah, I mean, I, I was really surprised to find out just how many of those things are around here. We're out there in the evening looking around with thermal optics. I mean, you'll just see packs of things roaming out there. And I've also seen firsthand just how much damage we were in a, a peanut farm uh, last night. And I thought a bulldozer had gone through there. I mean, these things absolutely just mangle the ground, digging up the the, uh, the crops, trying to look for something to eat. That's right. And it's not just peanuts they play uh, heck on. I mean, they, they go after corn, they go after just about anything that these farmers around here uh, That's plant. That's right. Um, they're, they're very destructive, very yeah. destructive species. Yep. And so that's why we're out here hunting these. And we also uh, will be hunting with firearms, but you guys also offer primitive hunting. That's right. So when I say primitive hunting, I mean edge weapons, things like that. That's right. We uh, we do that uh, with a pack of dogs. Um, I have a I have a full pack of dogs. Um, we run uh, two different types of dogs. We've got bay dogs and catch dogs. We uh, the bay dogs will actually be turned loose first, and they'll track the hogs down and bay them up in a confined area until we can get close enough to make a decision on um, the situation and which most cases is release the catch dogs who when they come it's all out balls to the wall and yeah. they hit with a vengeance yeah. and uh, that's usually what takes the pig down and then we get there and we'll put our hands on the hogs at that point and sometimes there's situations where the catch dogs are out of pocket and unable to be used and we have to become the catch dogs <laughs> but for the most part that's how we operate and um, at that point is when you know we'll make a primitive kill with, uh, you know, like you said, an edge weapon. So I noticed that these, these dogs are actually having a really good time. Right. I mean, these dogs are just chomping a bit, ready to go. I mean, they start barking. As soon as they get the whiff of a pig, man, these are they're howling. You have several different breeds of dogs you're using. That's right. And, you know, I, I hear hounds. I hear all sorts of stuff. These dogs are just going crazy, man. They're just like ready to go. And then you let them go, man, they're on those pigs. Um, and it, it's kind of amazing. Some of these pigs, you know, 200 pounds or over. And, and these dogs are a fraction of that weight, but together combined as a pack, man, they can bring that pig down. They work very well together. Yeah, I've noticed that. And, and you're using the dogs primarily in the daytime. In the evening, uh, these pigs are more uh, active, correct? They're, no, they're nocturnal, right. and so they like to move around, so you don't use the dogs in the evening. That's right. Um, it's a little bit more of a danger factor in the dark uh, with the dogs as far as the dog safety. Right. So we prefer to go with the uh, firearms choice and it's a lot more fun too, and I yeah. like to mix it up. So, so when the dogs are being used in the daytime, they're not using firearms for safety reasons for the animals, because when those dogs are on those pigs, uh, there's no real safe way to take a shot on that pig. It's, it's, because it's pretty hard. Yeah. So, so for the safety of the animals, uh, that's why uh, they're using primarily primitive weapons uh, for the hunting. Now, it was my first time doing it. I have to say it was absolutely amazing. A lot of fun. Grew up in Kansas. I've hunted before. Uh, totally different experience. I mean, just absolutely insane. Jose, was this your first pig hunt? This was my first pig hunt. And what'd it, you think? It was the most incredible experience of my life. It, uh, it's, I mean, it's equivocal to, to, to the same adrenaline dump that you get on deployment when, when things are very tense, yeah. uh, except for 
the these guys do, do such a great job. It's a, it's such a safe uh, safe environment. Everything's controlled really well, and uh, it was just amazing. I've been smiling all day. I can it. tell. And now you've you've done the firearm stuff we did the last night, and, and you did a primitive hunt today I, as well. Didn't I you? did a primitive hunt today. And, and what did you think of that? It was amazing. It, it was. Exhilarating. It was nerve-wracking. Of course, it was <laughs> yeah. the first time I ever. I mean, I've I've never seen a 300-pound pig, and <laughs> I got I got up and close and personal with it today. This isn't Wilbur, folks, that you'd see at a petting zoo. These things have tusks on them. Uh, they have nasty dispositions, especially when you get them cornered. Uh -huh. I mean, they can throw a dog off of them. I mean, they, they don't go down without a fight. These things are are, are not pets by any means. Uh, they're very aggressive, and so when you're going up on them. I mean, it, it, it's a real hunt. I mean, the, you know, you come up there, especially with an edge weapon or something like that. I mean, it's, uh, I can, yeah. Well, the adrenaline's flowing. Your breathing gets quick. Yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. So, I mean, it, it's outstanding that you can come out here and, and, and do that. And again, Joe, it's just awesome that you guys are doing this uh, for our heroes. And I also wanted to get over here to Alex because him, well, actually, the three of us, this is all of our first pig hunt. Yeah. And it was your first as well. Yes, sir. What did you think? I was floored. Uh, I honestly, I've, I've hunted a lot of deer and other animals all across the country. I've never done anything up as up close and personal as this. The adrenaline, like he was saying, is just unreal. It's unmatched. And the level of uh, intensity combined with the level of fun that Squeal Team 6 is able to provide for us is just, it's an amazing, amazing experience. And I urge everyone to take advantage of it. I mean, it's just been incredible. It's it's not just a hunt, but I mean, just sitting around and talking like we're talking and, and getting ready for the hunts, and then the after all the action's over, coming back, hanging out, the food's been incredible. I mean, it's yeah. just been an, overall just an amazing experience. Um, I mean, would you guys want to come back and do this again? Does next week work? <laughs> yeah, <see? laughs> I mean, it's just... Like a heartbeat. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's just something that you just... I, I almost want to move to, to, uh, to Georgia and, like... Just, it weren't for the gnats. <laughs> it weren't for the gnats. It's like the state bird, man. It's, it's, they're in your eyes, in your ears. The evenings aren't too bad with the bugs. The daytime gets a little bit rough. One of the places you took us uh, today, how many acres was that plantation? It was absolutely ginormous. Uh, close to 15,000. It was unbelievable. I saw, I mean, they had these little like paths, I wouldn't even call them roads, running around the plantation. And they had street signs That's right. named after roads in New York City, which I thought yeah. was pretty funny. It's like HQ three miles away, and they weren't kidding, it was three miles away. Yep. And we got caught in a torrential downpour on the way back, um, it, and we had a couple of Polaris vehicles that uh, that Joe brought out, and, and uh, man, those things were, were awesome, but I mean, it was like flash flood. You know? it, it came up on us very quickly. It was it was absolutely crazy, but just fun, insane fun. We're all, like laughing like school children, getting poured on and <laughs> yeah. splashing through mud puddles. I mean, it's just more fun than, than it should be legal, probably. But right. uh, yeah, I, I absolutely had a great time. Now, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, Joe, if they if they are um, are here themselves, or if they know somebody that could perhaps benefit from your services, absolutely. how could somebody get a hold of you? And, and of course, you guys don't just work with with soldiers and marines and airmen and sailors. You, you work with first responders, That's police good. and fire firemen and, and EMS and stuff. That's correct. They can get in touch with us on Facebook at Hero Hunt Inc. Um, also, um, our webpage at HeroHuntInc.org, and they can message us at HeroHuntInc at gmail.com. And I will put links to, to everybody down in the description below so you can find them. Uh, Ethan, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, you guys are primarily on Instagram right now. At this point, we are. Um, and I personally run our Instagram page, and any messages that I receive on there, um, I answer myself personally. So Okay, and I will put a link uh, to their Instagram page down below. And if you guys have them, just follow the link. Just go check out some of the pictures. You'll see all the happy faces and all the fun folks are having. I mean, your, your Instagram page is just absolutely full of, of fun stuff. Um, Alex, if somebody wants to find Optics Planet, I mean, just type in Google yeah. just about anything gun-related, and it'll probably be in the first search results, but how do people find you? Uh, yeah, OpticsPlanet.com is the best way to go. We have a mobile site uh, that's very user-friendly. Uh, we service our customers to the utmost degree and we aim to please everyone. And of course, the Armasite guys will put a link down to their website down below as well so you can check out some of the optics that we're playing with out here uh, today and tonight and, and just pretty much the last few days. So if you guys have any questions, of course, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash military arms. Also, if you'd like to support the Military Arms channel, the best possible way to do that is to shop at coppercustom.com. I'll put a link down below. And if you haven't already, please check out Full30. That's full30.com. It's an online shooting community by shooting enthusiasts for shooting enthusiasts. Swing by, check it out. I think you'll like what you see. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you guys soon.
Let's go shoot some pigs. <laughs>